the one place that you don't want to be, this is kind of the whole point of Judges chapter 1 and Judges chapter 2, is you don't want to be in this place where people are against you. You know, ironically, because of your faith. Ironically, because of the Lord Jesus Christ. People are against you because of that. And then you're just like, you know, think of the people in the promised land. I mean, why were they there? They were there because of their faith. They were there because God said, hey, go there anyway. I know you look like grasshoppers to those people, but go there. Go there and I will fight for you. They were there because of their faith. They went into the midst of all their enemies. They were there because of their faith and then they just abandoned the Lord. I mean, think about it. Imagine getting to a place where because of your faith, you've taken this, you, you've taken this great move and you've gone and you've made some moves in your life and, and then you've just decided to just fall into sin and just forget the Lord. Where are your enemies now? They're all around you. It was the moving into the promised land that brought the enemies all around them. And I mean, it's, it's just, it's, it's, it's beautiful irony when you think about it. They moved in on faith and then they needed, I mean, they needed that covenant. It was like a force field. Think of it like that, sci-fi people, you know, and they needed it to hold it back. And as soon as it, they lost, they broke that covenant, you know, th their enemies just rushed in on them and why we needed the judges. All right. Now look, it's like, I mean, it's like taking a, it's like taking a boat ride, you know, Hey, let's go out sometime 20 miles out on the ocean and I'll bring 20 miles worth of gas. That's, that's what it is. That's what people are doing, right? We'll drive out in the middle of danger and we'll have enough gas to get us there one Hey, things are going great. We're out of gas. We're there. That's the good news. The bad news is we're out of gas and we're going to die now. I mean, that's what people are doing. It's like jumping off a cliff. It's like jumping off a thousand foot cliff. I'm going to rappel down this thousand foot cliff and I got 500 feet of rope. What are you doing? Look, if, if preaching is like, oh, I go and I listen to preaching and it's just like, oh, you know, oh, he's ripping on these people, he's ripping on these people, and it's like entertainment, it's like your replacement for TV, you're like at the, you're going to end up at that 500 foot rope. You're going to have 500 feet below your, below you, is what's going to happen. I mean, so pay attention. Pay attention. Great things are ahead, right? Get a thousand foot rope and let's go. That's, that, that's the point of tonight.